period to you, it is I, Sophia Shores, and I'm going to be doing my project on Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Project by Sophia Shores. Well, obviously, I'm the person speaking here. <laughs> this is period two, and my choice is art. And that is Wolfie, who just walked away. That's just nice. So I'm going to read my summary first, and then we'll get going. Imagine what it would be like to enter a beautiful castle you've only been to once or twice because your very mean stepmother would never let you go to the castle and the only reason you got to go once or twice was to see the prince to give him back his android you fixed. Your stepmother always makes you be the one fixing her broken electronics and make and made you wash her hover. Even your stepsisters give you jobs to do, but one of them is very nice and you like her a lot. Back to the castle. You walk in with your dead stepsister's dress, your boots, and cyborg leg that you had since you were ten, and the pair of beautiful gloves Prince Kai gave to you as a present for fixing his android, which your other mean stepsister ruined because she was jealous. Also, there's a plague going around, and your sister and many other people have died from the plague with no cure. You go to the entrance and the guards let you in, which is very surprising because of the way you look. You go to the ballroom and walk past all the guards who don't even flinch as well. You walk into the room and a person comes by asking, where is your invitation? You give it to him and he makes, gives you a shocked look. He then says, Miss Lin, so glad you could make it. The, you are the personal guest of Emperor Kai. He then puts the microphone to his mouth before you could stop him and says, the personal guest of Emperor Kai, Miss Lin, is here. The room grows, grows silent and you see your stepmother and sister with their mouths wide open. Before you notice, Emperor Kai has you in his arms and you are dancing with him. Everyone stops to watch the two of you dance across the floor and Emperor, Emperor Kai encourages the other people to dance with you. But nobody moves for a while and then the people start to join in. Well, I'm going to wait a few more seconds for my character to move. Okay, one minute, and now. Okay, come on, character, please, can you please stop moving? Oh, yes, yes, move! Yay, happy face! Okay, so, um, this is, we're gonna enter the castle of epicness, or my book project. I also need to drink this so you guys can see everything that I made, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna close the unit. He'll, he'll just let himself in, Wolfie. Okay, so this is the guards and servants, and then this is army, as you can see, very bulky and big and tall, kind of scary. And this is uh, the main room. This is a fountain with pretty colors on the bottom or stuff. And there's more servants over here. And then as we go up the awesome stairs, we're gonna go to the spying room. This is if you wanna be creepy, you can spy on people. And there's bed, and then there's this enchant, this really cool book that closes by itself. And opens and close, and open and close, and open and close. Yeah. And then you can sleep there and spy on people if you like, if you creep me. Which is not me, because I don't want to do that. I don't even know why I made it. Oh well. <laughs> and then we're going to go in here and go to my favorite part of the castle, the gallery. This is filled with lots of pictures, and you can sit here and watch everybody while they're moving around and watch the pretty pictures. I'm also the doctor, as my skin, and I'm wearing a tuxedo. You guys need to know, just had to be that way. And also, there is, I forgot to mention one thing, there's another place you can spy on the people who are spying on you if you look up there. Just if you want to be creepy again as well. And then these, this is the army. Who doesn't have his name tag? Where's your name tag? What's the matter with you? And then we're going to go find one that has their name tag. Okay, see, he has his name, his name tag. That's also the arm part of the army. And now, we're going to shrink down to size so we can actually go into the scene. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> and we're gonna enter this scene. He'll just let himself in. Um, well, here's Emperor Kai and Cinder, and she has a very dirty dress, by the way. It's, it's filthy. And then there's her stepsister and stepmother. She dropped her glass, apparently. Really? It's a shame. I'm just gonna bounce on these. Like, wait, why am I stepping on this? Ow, 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 ow. Why am I stepping on? Wait, this didn't hurt. Never mind. <laughs> so she really does need to clean up her messes. It's kind of ridiculous. This is the tuba player, who's pretty awesome, and then the piano player, who has a very derpy face, like everybody else does. And then this is the throne over here. And then if we go over here, there's a boy over here, and then there's another person over there who's wearing a blue dress over there, as you saw. And what is this? Punch of flavor. What is this? May I drink it? No, I know this is probably gonna kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, drink it. What happened? 
This sure, this drink sure packs a punch. Very delicious too. Did I take the right one? I think I did. And then there's some turkey and a flour. I don't want to eat flour, so I'm gonna take a cookie, baked potato, bread, cooked chicken, cake, and cooked salmon. Even though I kind of eat it sadly because you know it's all peaceful and you can't really eat anything. So yeah, I have to. Do this, but oh well. I mean, at least I can torture myself by looking at it. And uh, the and now I'm going to show you the chandelier, as you can see above, which has it's really cool. It's got a bunch of torches and stuff. And if you really look up, there's the really cool ceiling with all the dimensions. And then there's also the very various paintings all around, as you can see. And there's one of a pig, which I found very interesting. Well, now I'm going to talk about the rest of my paragraphs here, starting. Wait for it. Now. My scene is Cinder and Emperor Kai dancing in the ballroom with hundreds of people watching them dance across the floor. In the scene, people are, are surprised that Kai was dancing with a girl who's a mechanic and is wearing some really dirty clothes. I mean, who would expect em an emperor to uh, dance with her? Imagine the look on Cinder's stepmother's and sister's face. Everyone is surprised in this scene. Wouldn't you be too? I do, I do think my work is literal because we all have that weird uncomfortable feeling inside that happens sometimes during school dances. For example, there are two or more very brave people who start dancing. Everyone just stares at them for a while and they eventually start pulling people in to dance. Maybe not everyone because there's always a person stuffing their face with food in the corner, but you guys know what I mean. Why I thought this was important in scene, why I thought this was an important scene was because it shows how Kai has feelings for Cinder and how she came to the ball even though she said she couldn't go. Kai was very surprised to see her, but just as glad. The crowd was even more surprised than he was, and probably Cinder's stepmother and sister were even more surprised than everybody else was. Another reason why this is an important scene is because after this scene, she finds out who she really is and who she really was. You will have to read the book to find out who she is. The reason why I wanted to do this is because Minecraft is fun to do and it allows me to express my ideas through Minecraft. Minecraft is my fav one of my favorite all-time games and it is fun to make projects with it. I like a challenge. This is my art project. I hope you have enjoyed this scene in the book Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my castle in the scene of Cinder and Prince Kai dancing. I added the castle part in for detail and more awesome stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed my video, which I'm pretty sure you guys did. But anyways, we're gonna see if he wants to say goodbye, but he's gone. Oh well, well thanks guys for watching again. Hope you guys enjoyed my video, goodbye.